welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Carolina, or you can call me simply Carolina. So today, I am going to show you guys everything I bought on Amazon in the last week and a half to two weeks. Um, let's just say I've had a little shopping spree. Okay, so I have always loved these little clips. Um, I'm sure you've seen them, um, like little girls usually wear them, but I think they're really, really cute. They complement an outfit. I have them in my hair color, like dark brown, black. So I decided to look up on, on um, Amazon, I almost said Poshmark, on Amazon and see if they had these in like a large quantity. And lo and behold, they did. So I bought 89, no, I'm sorry, 80 of these for a smooth $5. And it has every color I can think of, every color under the sun, like, do you see this? Like, I could just pop one in right now. So, okay, okay, that, that's not a cute placement, but you, you get what I'm saying, like, there's different shades of green, and it's just so freaking cute, like, three different shades of green right there, and as you can see, I'm wearing green today, and mismatched earrings. Um, so that was the first thing I bought. I was super excited about that. It came really, really quickly. I would say in like two, three days. Um, let's see, the next thing, my sister and I want to start making our own lip balm. Um, so instead of buying it from the store, also my sister is um, transitioning to like a more vegan, plant-based lifestyle. So if you notice, all the chapsticks, all the lip balms contain beeswax and obviously that's not vegan. Um, so, we're gonna start making our own. So we got some coconut oil, um, extra virgin coconut oil, big, big old thing. Um, we got some candelilla wax to uh, put in the lip balm. Um, so that, that's that. Again, a nice big bag. Some shea butter, this huge block. I believe it's a one pound block, so it's pretty nice. Next thing we got is a dropper, of course, for the lip balms. And you're probably wondering, what are we gonna put our lip balms in? I'm glad you asked. I am really excited about this. I'm about to show you guys. We bought not one, not two, but 30 aluminum cases for the lip balm. And they come with little labels. So if we want to make like different flavored ones or different colored ones, we can label them. And this is what they look like. So cute. And it screws on and off. I love it. Um, so we're definitely going to start doing that pretty soon now that we got everything. Um, actually the Kindalilo wax came in like maybe five minutes before I started filming. So that was pretty awesome. Next thing I got is something I've been meaning to get for a while, but I just happened to remember. And this came in a pack of two. Um, my sister took the other one. I'm sorry, it's two packs of two. So we got two packs of two. Um, so one for each member of our family. It is a reusable straw. It comes in this little thing. It's probably the size of a pencil. It also has a, I forgot what these are called, like these hooks. So you can put it in your bag, you could attach it to like uh, your keychain, car keys, but I probably would just put it in my bag just because that's not very sanitary in my opinion to have it in your keys. Um, so it opens up like that, opens up like this. And as you can see, there is a little straw in here. To, or I'm sorry, a little brush cleaner and it does extend so you can get the entire length of the straw. That's pretty awesome. And then, of course, the straw does extend as well. So this is perfect. So um, I've been meaning to get that for a really long time and I'm really glad I finally did. So I can stop getting plastic at restaurants or wherever I go, really. Um, so it's more convenient for me. Um, the next thing I got was, um, so my sister and I, this kind of ruins the surprise a little bit, but we decided to get Apple Watches. Um, so we got matching 
uh, watch covers. I've always loved Hello Kitty. Um, so I got the white one and she got the black one. Um, it's really, really cute. It's like silicone or like rubbery. It's so cute. I can't wait till my watch gets here. And when I get my watch, I'll be doing an unboxing video. So stay tuned for that. Um, so that's that. We got um, some screen protectors for the watches. I did read online that the glass is very durable, but you'd never know, right? So I was like, it's very safe than sorry. So we got some of these. It comes in a pack of uh, six. So hopefully we won't need all six, but if we do, there they are. It's by the brand You Can Be, um, and it's called Pretty All Set, and you'll see in a minute why it's called Pretty All Set. Um, so it comes with 86 colors. It comes with a full palette of warm mattes, dynamic uh, hue eyeshadows. It comes with highlighters, contours, and blushers. So it truly is everything you need <laughs> to go. Um, so it opens up like this. It has three sides to it does have plastic on it to cl to uh, protect the other colors so it's like this um, so this side right here is all the neutral colors like colors you can wear to work just your everyday wear um, has a variety from like um, I would say like earth tones like fall colors uh, very neutral the middle is the light up palette at the very top you can see there's highlighters blush contour and in the middle are a variety of different like mattes and shimmers um and at the bottom are more contours on this side the color splash side are all your vibrant colors um so as you can see it ranges all the way from red down to purple and blue so this is definitely a really nice palette I had been wanting, I'd been in the market to buy more eyeshadow. Um, I already have like a lot of very neutrals, like taupes and browns, uh, sand, like colors like that. I had some burgundies and I was like, you know, I really want some vibrant colors like greens and purples and pinks. And, you know, as much as I love Morphe, I'm not going to go and spend $40 in the middle of a pandemic on like a 35 colored palette. Instead, I want Amazon, good old Amazon, and I found this palette, um, 86 colors, has every color you can think of, and it even comes with highlight, blush, and contour. Yeah, I'm gonna get that, and it was only $20, and so far I love it. It has really rich color, the application is really smooth, um, I haven't had any, like, fallout or anything. I love it. Um... So I definitely recommend it and it's very like compact um, so it folds up you can just put it in your bag and take it with you if you're going to work but you know you're gonna go out later I would definitely buy this um, it's super cute and I will definitely be buying from them again I know they have other products but this one had amazing reviews so I was like yep I'm just gonna get this one so the next thing I got was actually a makeup brush cleaner um, since I do use makeup pretty frequently, I'm like, you know what, it's worth the money to invest in an actual cleaner for them. Because um, usually the way I would clean it before is I would just grab my brush and clean it like I do um, my paintbrushes. So I would just like run it up and down my hand with soap and olive oil or baby oil to condition the bristles. But I decided to actually buy a automatic brush cleaner. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So it comes with a bowl. As you can see here, you just want to put like maybe a dot of soap, not too, too much, um, and very little water about half the halfway up from your bristles. Um, and you'll see why in a second. You're probably thinking this is not enough, but trust me, it's enough. Um, and it comes with this remote and it comes with uh, two spindles. I already put one of my spindles on and it does require AAA batteries. They don't come with it, so make sure you have those. It has um, this holder, 
So these hold your brush and it goes into the spindle. And it comes with a variety of sizes for like a kabuki brush, a blush brush, a contour brush, shadow brushes, uh, foundation, you name it, right? Um, so let me show you guys an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my blush brush. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. I'm gonna find the one that fits it best. I'm gonna use this one because the end is really thin. So you just push it in, okay? Make sure it's nice and snug. And then you're gonna fit that into the spindle. So there you go. And you wanna make sure it's standing down straight. And when you turn it on, your brush is gonna fan out, but that's the beauty of it. It's getting deep within the bristles. So watch, see? It fans all the way out. You wanna just slowly put it in the water and just quick up down, maybe like 10 times so I can clean it. And it also dries it, guys. That's like the beauty of this thing. I freaking love it. It's, it's basically a water, mach uh, water <laughs> washing machine. I almost said water machine. It's a washing machine and dryer for your brush. It's incredible. So you guys saw how my brush was pink before, right? Or like I had shades of pink in it. So now, now that it's washed, I'm gonna slowly bring it up and let it dry for a few seconds. And you guys will see it comes out kind of like wonky, but you gotta reshape it. And the, but at least the pigment will be gone. So I turn it off. I pull it out. As you can see, it is pretty wonky. You just want to reshape it and it's clean. It does have some staining on it, but that's from an old color I used, but it's soft, it's clean most importantly. So that's pretty awesome. And you just want to remove this, place this back in the according spot. And then as you can see, the water is kind of dirty I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a little bit of like a, a tint to it. So yeah, I definitely think it was worth the money. I love it. And then the very last thing I do guys is to actually repeat my pocket. So I'm actually using this right now. I'm gonna show you guys the tripod. So it holds my phone and it also is a ring light all in one. So it's, it's pretty cool. So this is the tripod ring light I was telling you guys about. That's my kitchen in the background. Um, it's great. I mean, this thing right here is what holds your phone. Um, so it opens up like that. The ring light, you can move it up or down wherever you need to. And this does um, get taller if you need it to. It comes with these buttons. Um, so I can change the color intensity. Bright. Oh, and there's Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Yeah, that's my cat bunny, guys. <laughs> um, and then you can make it dimmer or brighter, depending on what you want to do. What should we do, bunny? So I just wanted to really quickly show you guys that. It's a tabletop um, tripod. thumbs up subscribe and i will be posting another video on sunday uh fingers crossed that i get my apple watch so i can do the unboxing for you guys on sunday if not i will definitely post something else don't you worry um and if you made it this far in my video comment your favorite color so i know you actually watched up to this point okay bye